Hey everybody, welcome back for part number four. However, the door itself requires a key code. Where do we find it? A sentry bot has been deployed, which will transfer the key code to the nearest Cybertronian if it is destroyed. Boy, that's handy. Anyways, welcome back to part number four of Transformers it's Devastation, everyone. On, your map. on my way. No, if it just happens to be destroyed, it'll just transfer onto the next closest Cybertronian. God damn, is that handy. Like, legit. How did I get through that? <laughs> How did I get through that one? <laughs> oh my god, those are the best. The first one I can kind of understand, that second one was bullshit though, dude. That was invincibility frame if I ever saw it. Like I said, given Prime these swords, a uh, slight bit of a damage differential for me. So I think I stick with these pretty much the entire rest of the playthrough. Oh, why I try to dodge again? And like I said, once you figure out the timing for dodging, it's like, you know, you kind of get that extendo uh, attack window every single time. It's pretty easy to do once you figure it out. Another time, old friend. For now, let us stay on task. Yeah, you know, or you could actually tell us the fucking meaning of what we're doing. Might be a good thing, Optimus. Oh, how'd I miss that? Can't believe I missed that one. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> Try that again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Much better. Except for that. Yeah, nice transformation, ground soldiers. Perfect placement on that. Thank you. And, of course. Oh, I actually got behind the shield. Oh, damn. <laughs> the animations on these kicks, dude. Like, Jesus. When you're playing, you don't get to see much of this, because it's just like, you're kind of cruising through and slamming buttons and stuff. But, like, when you go back and watch it afterwards, it's kind of funny to watch some of the animations. The kicks and the punches are just like... <laughs> you ain't messing around. That should be all the loot, but just in case. We're in the same spot as before, aren't we? Yep. We fought in this exact area like three times already. It's literally just looping you. Well, that was stupid. Yeah, what's over this way? It's the complete incorrect direction to go, which means there must be something. Or so he's gonna, you know, try to believe. Yeah, there's nothing, is there? Uh, there's gonna be nothing. Yeah, that's just a big loop back to we can't even get through that other part, so screw this. I'm amazed. You, like, I really would have figured that there would have been a uh, uh, a side mission or something hidden back over here. Kind of like there was in the uh, the first episode? Might have been the second. But yeah, nothing. What a letdown, dude. How did I... There we go. <laughs> How the fuck did I miss that? <laughs> I love that transform sound. I just can't get over it, dude. That transform sound is so spot on. So perfect. Alright. Should probably leave those because I get the feeling I'm getting attacked. Yep. And that was idiotic of me. Really should have waited till the Seekers were right over there. Whoa! That was weird. <laughs> oh, these attacks are not exactly landing where I want them to. Alright, 
If that gets rid of one of them, that's basically what we're going for. Make that two. And if we can get to one of them before they take off again and turn into a jet, kill them. Otherwise, you gotta shoot them down. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. Aw, oh, come on, I was right there. Ooh, nice. We both landed right into the swing. <laughs> Perfect placement. And our first A. Alright, now do I get smart enough to realize that voice playback is an option? Yep. It is apparent that neither Megatron nor his Decepticon lieutenants knew for certain what was happening to the city nor what lies beneath it. However, Megatron's memory of the Golden Age is clearer than most Cybertronians, and so it appears that he suspected that plasma energy was one of the causes of the city's destruction. Interesting. I like that you get all this backstory if you actually go through those, too. Which, again, I know I missed a few, and I'm sorry, but yeah, I didn't notice till I think right there, actually, that, uh, that you can actually do it. I should have kept going. <laughs> yeah, that's... I'm notorious for missing those. How did that go so far backwards? What happened here? Yeah, sometimes it gives you a little bit of a weird reaction, but, you know, it is what it is. Guys, the tech in the city. It's evolved on a divergent path from our own. It's not from the Decepticons. That Megatron doesn't understand it any more than we do. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Yeah, apparently I should just walk this. <laughs> Gonna try to get all sneaky and shit, but yeah, you know what? Fuck these. We'll just walk right on past, because screw that. Or am I smart enough to destroy it? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, here's the epitome of unnecessary. For a whopping hundred every day, well, I guess it was 150 that time. It's that's not worth it. But apparently, I think it's necessary, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. It's good practice, if nothing else. And hey, a hundred is a hundred, and there's like ten of them. There's, it's really not that many, so this could be worse. And I don't know why the hell I. Why did that not work? I have no idea why the hell I decided this was necessary, though. That was fucking stupid placement on my part. God damn it. Woo! Alright, one more just for show. Just for show. Fuck your cars, humans. These are pieces of shit. I just drove through a truck. That was kind of cool. I can't do anything else with this, but hey, you never know. Destructibles are everywhere, so gotta try. Oh yeah, this part. Oh yeah, this part. So what? what is Grump's bad at, folks? Oh, that's right, driving and shooting shit. Yeah, guess what you have to do here? Drive and shoot shit. First things first, get rid of the fucking annoyances behind us shooting at us. How did that not hit him? What the fuck? Ooh! That was pretty. Good news is we'll have all this junk out of the way, hopefully. And sooner or later we'll run into him. Ow. Speaking of the devil. Transform, what the fuck? 
It has such an issue transforming sometimes. Yeah, the motion sickness that this in incurs is just ridiculous. There's a reason I don't play shooters, and it's shit like this. Like, this is the most unfucking ruley control right here. You're just randomly driving, like, you know, through this, like, completely curved... Like, look at this. You hit one thing, you go faster than him. Now you gotta fucking whip a U-turn constantly. And somehow he gets ahead of you, which makes no fucking sense. Somehow I hit that. I don't even know how that last shot landed. Completely acceptable, but I have no idea how that worked. The ship's entrance is now open. On my way. How did I hit something? That's not... Alright. Thanks, game. Why do you not just transform? One of the few flaws is that, like I said, the, the transformation sometimes just does not do stuff. Like, here, let's just dodge and shuffle our way over to the others. Like, no, I'm not. What the fuck? Like, I'm just pressing one button to transform, and I don't understand why you can't figure that out. Fuck your shield. Ain't nobody got time for shields. Oh, I was trying to, like, literally launch in. Hey, speaking of Insecticons. Oh, you cheap shot motherfucker. You deserve that. Oh, hello. Scrap all just jumping in out of nowhere here. The amazing part is how many times you're gonna fight a lot of the, uh, the named uh, Decepticons. You're gonna fight some of them like 20, 30, 40 times depending on how many spawn. The Insecticons are one of those groups where this happens repeatedly. Bad. Time to finally enter the proud star. But first, let's collect all the other random shit that we can, because there's more stuff. Yeah, it seems to be about it. All right, on to the story. There ain't much else out there, really. Autobots, welcome to the Proud Star. The great ship of Nova Prime. It can't be. You mean an Autobot ship is responsible for all the destruction in the city? It appears so, Wheeljack. But I doubt it was an Autobot hand that caused the destruction. Another Cybertronian ship crashed on Earth? What are the odds? Nova Prime's mission was to preserve our culture. The Colonnade of Cybertron was a covenant between all Cybertronians. The Colonnade is comprised of the essential aspects of our lost Cybertronian heritage. And it was placed inside the Pharaoh Taxis, the supercomputer that controls the Proud Star. The Pharaoh Taxis literally carries our culture inside of it. What an historical find that would be. So much art and beauty and history has been lost to find it again. 
The ferrotaxis controls both the plasma core and the insecticons. It directs the power and gives the insecticons their function and purpose. Okay, so we find the ferrotaxis and what? Destroy it? It's got so much of our culture in it. We can't do that, can we? No, we can't. We find the plasma core and shut it down. Shutting down the power is the most surefire way to stop the cyber forming. Then we locate the Pharaoh Taxis and preserve our culture, as Nova Prime intended. But for now, stay focused. There are more floors to this ship. We split up and locate the plasma core. But first, let's take over as Optimus again. Because he's the best. The they to be on the moon. Aw, I wanted free kills there. It's a lot of Insecticons. Oh no. Query. Is Megatron correct that the Proud Star was underneath Earth's surface? Megatron's suspicions were confirmed. The ship he now controls is indeed the Proud Star of Legend. Commentary. It must be a perverse kind of joy that Megatron now feels. Knowing that the instrument of Earth's destruction was an Autobot invention, an Autobot mission. I don't think he cares somehow. I think what, it's just the it the end means. Felt like the Matrix itself just blinked off and then back on. There is a darkness here, something that has permeated this place and the Cybertronians who lived here. We will deal with it later if we must. Wow, ominous much? <laughs> Just like the uh, the '86 movie, I feel like I should be singing. You've got the touch right about now as I'm driving over all these Insecticons. And no, it, well, well, okay, Prime does that at one point too, but it's more Hot Rod vaulting off of the one to get back into the uh, into the uh, what call it? The base. Starscream's anger, Starscream's constant annoyance with Megatron appears to be heightened. As is the tension with his fellow Seekers, Thundercracker and Skywarp, it appears that the recent rise in tensions surrounds the search for the Plasma Core. Starscream is perhaps feeling that he is being underused, and Thundercracker feeling that plasma energy is too dangerous. It is likely that Starscream will berate Thundercracker for his apparent cowardice, while secretly fearing destruction himself by way of the Plasma Core. Because Starscream's a bitch. Still one of my favorites, just because he's always there and Megatron. You, know, you gotta love it, but you gotta hate him at the same point too. It's a weird trade-off with with Starscream. Ah, oh, my favorite. Yes. <laughs> Off sound wave. Oh god, that floor. Yeah, by the way, Soundwave has some nasty fucking attacks. He's kind of brutal. Yeah, don't try to get near him. <laughs> that doesn't work too well. He vaults me off like every time. Soundwave's a bitch, dude. But at the same point, like I said, one of my favorite. By far one of my favorite uh, Transformers. Amazingly, that worked. Wow. I'm kind of amazed I dodged that incoming one from behind, too. That bounce was BS. Speaking of bounces that are BS, nice one. How did that not dodge? Dodge, Prime, Jesus. I think it's like, after a certain percentage of damage that you do, Soundwave's just gonna slam you out of there. Yeah, with this. How did that hit him? Wow, that's some serious range on these swords. Alright, fair enough, use the swords. <laughs> Not that I don't anyways, but yeah, that's, that's one of my huge... I don't want to say, like, you know, playthrough tips or whatever, but 
It kind of is. Like, make sure you got the weapon that, that suits you. It doesn't have to be the swords, but find whatever it is that suits you and go with it. Dang. <laughs> that was brutal. I need you here. The others can take care of them. Understood. Abort mission. Always the coward, Soundwave. Megatron has taken control of the ship and the Ferrotaxis that operates it. He now commands the Insecticon. Maybe if we blow that Ferro... what's it up, it'll stop Megatron. No. We go to the plasma core and disable it. The Feral Taxis has the just had that conversation. Cybertronian culture recorded within. If at all possible, we must preserve it. I'll just take it out inside the cons because fuck them. <laughs> There's not even any reason to. You have no experience or anything. Just fuck them. They're insect the cons. I still like that it gives you the little, you know, forewarning, like, whoa, there's something dark up in here, like the Matrix turned off for a second. This isn't good. Like, yeah, let's foreshadow the, like, super, super nasty shit incoming later on. I can't wait to see where that leads. How? Okay. There's an invisible wall I had to jump over. That was new. I don't even know why I went backwards either. Damn. You think I know how to, like, you know, look at a map? But no, I don't. Also, still haven't figured out that I should be destroying those, like, all the little uh, canisters and stuff. Yeah, still haven't done that. Not sure why. Should have noticed by now that they actually do give you points. Somehow I missed it. So let's see, bombshell, kickback, and I think a repeat already. I forgot who the other is, and I can't see him. Yeah, it's Scrapnel. See what I mean about fighting the same one over and over again? You're, we've already fought Scra and killed Scrapnel. But here's Scrapnel again! Oh look, kickback, another kickback! <laughs> Did you know he had a twin with the exact same name? And another Scrapnel, number three. I mean, I understand they had to. Because otherwise it's like, man, you're really going to be dipping into like, hey, we had to throw the Beast Wars guys in here because otherwise you were going to not have enough enemies to fight. Although I think about the only way that they could actually add anything else in would be like, if somehow the Autobots got rewritten into Decepticons and you had to fight against all of them. Now, 10 bucks says next Transformers game. Given what they were just talking about there, and, you know, whose ship this is, and that there's a, a darkness lingering and everything, wait for the ending, because it'll, it'll hint. But, like, it'll, it, you know, it, like, it, it could go that way, in all honesty, it really could. So, don't call it a guess, but it's kind of a guess that that may actually happen in the next game. <laughs> like, oh yeah, we've run out of Decepticons to huck at you, so... Instead of just traveling through generations and fighting, you know, Beast Wars, Megatron, and, you know, G2, and etc., etc., then... Oof, that was ridiculous. I <laughs> thought it was pegged in there, too. Um, but, like, you know, instead of doing that, it'll probably be just turn the Autobots... So, not evil, per se, but confused, and you're gonna have to knock sense into them as often as the entire playthrough. Or, you know, maybe they, they tap in a little bit to, to the 86 movie. I'm just saying. Although I don't think they're really going to want to do that, but, like, how long are they really going to be able to keep the actual voice actors doing this stuff for them? Because they got the legit uh, Optimus and uh, Megatron, if you haven't paid attention to the voices yet. So, you gotta wonder, I mean, like, what point do they go 86 Transformers movie on Prime? Because they're probably going to have to. Got to find a way up. And got to learn how to jump better. Ooh, Starscream. An all-powerful Megatron has deemed me, Starscream, as the bot appointed to carry the Plasma Core. Bah! That is a job for a lackey like Blitzwing. Oh, that coward, 
Thundercracker. When I rule the Decepticons, tasks such as delivery bots will be relegated to those bots who are not suited for combat and leadership. Such a waste of my skills cannot long be tolerated. But you've been tolerating them for like millennium. And you're still gonna keep doing it because you're star screaming and you don't know any better. I'm just saying. Uh why there we go. What the hell? Hey, side missions, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna let you know real quick. This is remember when I said last episode there's side missions we don't finish? Welcome to one of them. The, there's some that are just like not for me at all. This has a countdown timer, and you're supposed to try and get Yeah. You're supposed well, see all the uh, the item caches here. You're supposed to get as many of these, as, well, all of them, I guess, as you can in the time limit. And if I'm not mistaken, we do not pull this off. Anyways, on that note, we're also really close to the end of this episode, so we'll finish off Chapter 2 tomorrow. Thank you once again for absolutely everything, one and all. Don't forget about the Twitch channel, uh, all sorts of links down in the info section and all that stuff, so give that a look, see if you haven't yet. Hope to see you again real soon, possibly tomorrow, for episode number 5, just saying. Catch you then. Much love.